a lot of my clients ask me the same question. How do I influence my people? How do I motivate them to do more, to do better, to go the extra mile? And it's very interesting because when I find out how they speak to their people, whenever somebody makes a mistake or when their team comes to them with a question, the first thing that pops in the leader's mind is, why are they like this? How come they can't do it? When I was their age, I was this, I was that. And that to me is really the wrong way to approach motivation and influence. Instead of asking, why are they like this? How come they don't understand? Perhaps as a leader, it will be useful for you to suck back that thought, suck in that question and ask yourself instead, did I do enough to explain this? What have I not done? What have I confused him with? And then take it from there. A lot of times when I pop this suggestion to my clients, they say, yeah, I do ask myself and I do take responsibility and I do take the blame, but it's still their fault because why don't they get it? So the point I'm making is you don't just ask that question once. You ask it many times and go very deep into that question to see whether you have really done enough. If you have done enough, then perhaps it's time for you to say goodbye to that particular person or people. But if you cannot honestly say I've done enough to make my instructions clear or to help my team, then look inside. This reminds me of a coaching session I had with a client who says that she feels so disengaged with her company and she's renting her brain every day from nine to six, five days a week, often in the evenings as well. She's renting her brain. So she feels completely disengaged. That is a double whammy. So if your team member feels disengaged and you ask them, why didn't you do this? They back off and they will just wait for you to tell them what to do. And as every leader knows, especially in today's market, anywhere in the world, you cannot just keep giving your people instructions. They have to take the initiative. They have to take ownership. This is a very different generation of youngsters we work with. And so this is one of the issues. So whenever you, you feel the need to say, why are you doing this? What don't you know how to do? How come you don't do it? the way that I want, my suggestion is to suck it back. Take it in and ask yourself whether you have done enough. <laughs>